All right, in the last video, we recreated the functionality of a bootstrap modal um, with our own JavaScript. In this video, we're going to uh, reconstruct the show and collapse functionality, which you're going to notice has a similar pattern to the first. Uh, the only difference being is that uh, this show and collapse button is going to be doing both, right? So it's not just going to be showing it, it's also going to hide it after. So it's, that's a little bit different, but not too wild. Uh, I'm going to delete all these um, data attributes off of it, and I'll instead just target this by an ID. Um, this is often called a uh, an accordion, if you, uh, you're Kind of showing content right below it um, going up and down like an accordion so don't ask me why they called it that i have no idea um i guess because the musical instrument but why that one of uh, any other thing i don't know so we're gonna grab by the id here um it's query selector not get element by id but we're grabbing it by its ID. okay so we got it and when we click it Listener, click function. Uh, we also just want to grab the collapse example, already has an ID. to classless.toggle that show class. So let's see how that goes. Pops up, pops down, pops up, pops down. Um, and that's, uh, that's, that's it. Um, so we can even make it simpler. We had to use kind of separate ones because this button only closed. Uh, those buttons inside the modal only closed while this button only opens. In this case, we're toggling back and forth. And that's exactly how this drop down button would work too. So if we grab this drop down toggle, It's going to be literally the same function. We'll do oh, the collapse. It's the yeah, drop down menu. And if we wanted to, um, if we wanted to slim this down, uh, we could like, eh, no, these are these are fine. There's a just think about ways you could potentially combine the functions, but it would get a little too complicated. Um, 
All right, so basically hoping you see the magic. It's just elements that already exist. We're showing and hiding them in interesting ways. Uh, and what I'll do in the next video is purposely show you how like you hide the content initially so that you could show it. And it's basically just the opposite of using the show class. So I'll see you in the next video.